So uh, what were we getting to before that? We were talking about um, ways that we could possibly divert and whether or not it's feasible, and there's uh, essentially no plan right now. Correct. That's not. That doesn't comfort me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not comforting. No, it's not. It no, is we're not just comforting. sitting there waiting. I mean, we make all these grand plans for the future of our our cities, and our we're worried about political, you know, problems, and you know, well, this, which party's going to control the house. And I got to say, though, I suspect. I would not be a bit surprised if Matt got reinstated once the political climate changes. The other thing is, is you know, <clears throat> U.S. government has dropped the ball for the most part. And what we see now is the private space yeah. program stepping into the void. Right. So I'm, I'm very much a proponent and an advocate of that. Mm. Um, I believe that it's our destiny to move into space. And I think that if we don't, we're going to go the way the dinosaurs eventually, and maybe maybe our species won't get extinct. But the point is, and this is, I think you're seeing this, and the point of what we're talking about is that our civilization is actually way more vulnerable than we've assumed. Well, I think this pandemic alerted people to that because something that had a very high survival rate still completely disrupted the world economy, completely disrupted yeah. us. Yeah. And, most ways. Yeah. So imagine a Tunguska type event times a hundred. Right. We're 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 really screwed. Yeah, we're really screwed. And this is not some science fiction right. scenario at all. No. Not um, by any stretch of the imagination. This is a science fact. Science fact. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the clip, don't forget to hit like, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more.